Now we're finally at foreign exchange, and the first thing we're going to talk about is balance of payments or BOP. BOP records the country's tra transactions with the rest of the world, and it is a sum of four four uh, elements and. These elements are net exports, net received on income received on assets, capital flows, and uh, official financing account of foreign currency. So pretty much net exports, we went through it before uh, in the very beginnings of the series, it consists of exports and imports, right? So pretty much uh, we're going to use these uh, these two labels sell and buy to determine what happens to the balance of payments. So exports. In exports, we're actually selling because we're we're uh, producing goods and we're exporting them. We're selling it to another country. So it's a plus. Now imports is a minus because we're buying uh, we're buying stuff from other countries. We're spending our own money. So we're going to look at everything in terms of where our money goes. And when we're exporting, that means we're getting money. When we're importing, that means we're losing money. When we're losing, we have a minus. When we're gaining, we have a plus. So that's net exports. Net receipts on income uh, received on assets, or NR. Pretty much, they're pretty much receipts. We can think of receipts as... Uh, as income on bonds so so we can think of receipts as the interest interest payments on our bonds so that's a plus because we're getting paid now payments payments are something that we have to pay of course so uh, consider uh, dividend payments if our country was a stock that paid dividends then um, then pretty much every uh, every quarter will have to pay out dividends that means we're losing money so it's a minus capital flows so capital flows are pretty much in consists of inflows and outflows inflows like for example selling bonds and when we're selling stuff again when we're selling stuff we're getting money so we're getting money plus outflows we're buying foreign bonds and we're losing money here so minus so lastly we're at official financing account OFA of foreign currency so sales sales of course the words the word just gives it away we're getting money plus purchases again the word give it gives it away we're losing money minus so this could be seen as um, this can be seen as purchases of foreign currency like of foreign currencies of foreign currency and this can be say like sales of foreign currency of foreign currency so that's that's all the factors what we really need what you really need to know is um, pretty much a uh, net all these factors and uh, and the signs so really remember the signs and and um, and the factors under the under the uh, super category I guess you can. so you must remember that net exports for exports rises imports minus net receipts receipts plus payments minus uh, capital inflows or what yeah capital flows inflows plus outflows minus Official financing account of foreign currency sales plus purchases minus. So the best way to get through uh, to no balance of payments on a test would just be just to memorize it like I did. So pretty much what I did to pass this part on my test is I memorized uh, what would happen and I pretty much understood the concept that uh, understood the concept of what what uh, constitutes as. Um, what constitutes as losing money and what constitutes as gaining money. So when you ask me receipts, oh, that's probably gaining money. Payments, that's losing money. I got that in a click and I memorized it and that's how I passed this part. And the last thing I want to talk about um, concerning the for, for this video is um, balance of payments, the formula. As you can uh, see, the formula is pretty much the sum of everything added together, net exports, NR, uh, KF plus OFA. And must equal to zero at any time or at any time it should equal zero so at, at any time at any time 
it should equal zero. If it's not, then that's uh, something we will talk about in the next video. So that's it for this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, I hope you underst understood the concept and remember the best way to do this part is just to memorize it. And that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again.